hello 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 welcome back to my channel this week's video is super exciting because I'm vlogging I am one week out from going back to school and I am teaching general education again so I'll be teaching fifth grade which means I get to wear very cute outfits that light me the F up I get to like do my hair and makeup and like do all the things that I was missing when I was a special ed teacher with the behavior student but when I was doing special ed I was unable to wear pretty much everything that I usually wear like I couldn't wear earrings um, I had to wear closed-toed shoes like tennis shoes I wore like sweats and leggings all the time because I would have to sometimes restrain students or students would like actually attack me and like bite me and like hurt me and I couldn't wear bracelets um, because they would rip them off. Same with my earrings, same with my hair. I literally could not wear my hair cute at all either. I would have to wear it up all the time. So I'm very excited to go shopping. I'm in the beautiful city of Viva Las Vegas, which means there's like every type of store ever in imaginable for me to have fun and go shopping and this vlog is very special because I'm gonna be talking about spending and with spending it's all about the energy of how you spend and what you spend it's all about language basically you have all the power in the world of anything you want in your life and that includes spending and that includes money and that includes like how much you make and how much you spend and what you release and I'll talk all about it in the vlog but First things first, we are gonna go get coffee because that's what I wanna do and um, I have money for that. I have no idea how much money I'm gonna spend. I don't have a set budget. I just joked with my husband. I was like, bye baby, I'm gonna go spend like 25K right now. <laughs> you know, I don't know what could happen. Like it's whatever, it's not a big deal. So let's get going. We're gonna go to coffee and then we're gonna go to Nordstrom Rack. I've never been to a Nordstrom Rack before. And also I am looking for clothes, a very particular vibe of clothes. I wanna look like a very nice presentable teacher now. Like I've done it all. I've done the frumpy. I've done the special ed with no cuteness at all because that's just not what I could have done. And now I'm ready to step into my vibration, my power of being like powerful, beautiful, and high vibe as F. So let's go get coffee first. I'm so excited for a delicious cup of iced coffee. Mm. All right, so I just stumbled upon a random coffee shop. So I'm actually in the city of Henderson. If you are familiar with Vegas, there's a Nordstrom Rack in Henderson and I decided to go to the Henderson location. It's near where I used to work, but I stumbled upon this coffee shop. It's called High Coffee Cafe. And I walked in and was pleasantly surprised that it was like Hawaii themed. So I get the impression that they get their beans from Hawaii and the owners are from Hawaii which is interesting because I keep getting like these signs of like Hawaii I mean I'm telling you like everywhere I go like stickers to like coffee shops like that or like hearing it in conversation it's pretty wild but here's my coffee and I'm about to share with you my first money tip or my first spending tip because spending is an energy in itself so basically when i was growing up we were on a constant like struggle bus of money i remember the first time my mom told me that we were like basically poor um and i was like really confused i got a vanilla lavender vanilla latte iced but Yum. Uh, I love a good coffee. So when I first started my spending journey, like money journey of, you know, not being poor anymore, right? And, you know, taking full responsibility for my life and my money and how I spend and all of that, I first started my journey on YouTube. And on YouTube, I saw so many people saying, if you wanna become wealthy and if you wanna become like, you know, abundant with money, stop spending money on $6 coffees. Ugh. And you know what? I'm here to say that that is the worst financial advice I think I've ever heard is telling people or giving the advice of, right? We discern all information, but telling people that if you buy a $6 coffee that you're just like throwing money away. 
No, you're not. This coffee was $6. It's a great cup of coffee. With my $6, I helped and supported a small business here in Henderson. They were really nice. Like, it's cool. It's awesome, right? Yum. It tastes great. And this is the thing. You can spend your money any way you want. It does not matter what you spend your money on. What matters is the energy you spend your money on. So let me explain a little bit more. So if you choose to spend your money on things that like numb you, or my favorite example is, you know, you might hear yourself say this, or you might hear other people say this, and they say, I'm just having a bad day, so I'm just gonna do some retail therapy. Okay. Why are you spending on an emotional charge that is not in the betterment of yourself? So, for example, it's my day off. I'm going shopping. I'm in a high vibration. And part of that high vibrational state is getting coffee from a coffee shop that I don't have to make myself. It's a vibe. I love the sound. It's great. If you are intentional with your spending, and remember, spending is just releasing. You don't wanna hoard your money. If you hoard your money, what makes you think you are in receiving mode to receive more, okay? So when you are giving of, I'm going to spend this money where it feels good to me, like because I'm in a high vibrational state when I do spend this money, you are going to receive tenfold. It's all a universal law. There's universal laws when it comes to money because money is just energy. That's it. Um, I actually paid in cash today, but if I were to pay with card, that's all freaking energy. There's no like physical about it besides that plastic um, that you swiped with. Like today I'm gonna be mostly swiping my card when I buy all my clothes and maybe some furniture pieces. I guess the bottom line I'm saying is if you ever come across someone or something that tells you what you can and cannot buy, that is so disempowering and you are stronger than that. You are power, more powerful than that. You are smarter than that. Do not allow anyone, anything, any vibe or energy to tell you how to live your life. You make your life and you make the decisions on how you spend money and live your life based upon your choices. Like in my budgeting program, like the group program I launch once every so often, the high vibe budgeting like course, I don't tell my clients or even my one-on-one -on -one clients, I don't tell them what to spend their money on. I show them how to look at their money in a way that serves them, that empowers them to make choices that they want. Like, I'm not gonna tell them you can't buy a coffee. Yes, you can, you can do whatever you want. But really, the question is, why are you spending the money on the coffee? Or why are you deciding not to spend the money on the coffee, right? If you're going with those old types of advice of make your coffee at home, like stop wasting money on Starbucks, blah, blah, blah. Well, is that coming from an abundance point of view? Or are you making your decisions because you're limiting yourself, uh, such as, oh, I don't have enough money to buy coffee. I can't. That's limiting yourself. Yes, you do have enough money to buy coffee. It's all in the choice. Do you want to? You may not want to. I do. I personally don't spend a lot of money on different things. Like my hair, I don't dye my hair at all. You know what I mean? Like it's all choice. It's all personal choice, personal preference. So listen to me carefully. Do not let anyone tell you that you have to spend your money a certain way. Seriously, you can spend it whatever you want. What matters is that vibration and power that you're in when you spend, okay? So that was my first spending tip number one, all about coffee. So let's go to Nordstrom Rack and let's find some hella cute outfits. Hello, hello. So it's the next day and yesterday was pretty awesome. I'm gonna show you everything I bought at the end of my shopping endeavor. But today I'm going to Marshall's and then like this really nice furniture store which is next to Marshall's. It just so happened that I separated this vlog into two days because that was just the flow of it. And my husband had to go to jujitsu yesterday night. We only use one car because we have a car rental business and we put our extra car on there because we can live with one car. It's totally fine. Let's go to Marshall's. Let's go to the furniture store. I'm really excited for the furniture store. And then I have a massage at eight o'clock. And I think I'll do a rant after my massage because it is so important for us to take care of our physical bodies and our physical vessels.
I got so much good stuff at Marshall's. Um, I have a massage in 10 minutes. I got a sushi roll from Sprouts to hold me over. That's what I'm going to eat right now. I want to riff about creating energetic room for more, for more money and creating um, energetic room for like more abundance and giving to yourself to receive more. So I have been giving myself massages as in spending for massages in my monthly budget since my first year teaching. So five years and the first time I ever felt stress in my body the way I did was my first year of teaching. And that was because I was in a very toxic working environment, very burnt out to a crisp and it just wasn't that great. So. Oh my god, I'm so excited for the sushi. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> when you spend on yourself, especially when you're taking care of your body, like it's a need for me to get a massage. If you do my budget course, we go over needs, wants, and desires. It's a need for me to get a massage. Just the same way it's a need for me to go to the gym. It's a need for me to take care of my body, my vessel, my physical vessel here on earth. So in order for you to receive more abundance, receive more money, because money's an energy, you need to take care of your physical self as well. Like you have to take care of yourself and there's different bodies to yourself. You're a multi-dimensional being okay you have like a physical self you have an emotional self a mental self and you also have a spiritual self and all four of those selves all four of you they're all different layers of yourself they're different bodies you need to take care of all four of them and when all four of them are in alignment that's when you experience like the most magical abundance so one of them's physical for me and I give to myself my physical vessel and I'm, I'm able to be a better teacher, a better wife, a better like parent once I'm a mom. Like I will forever get massages. It's part of my monthly thing. And I'm doing it on a new moon, which is even more special because during the whole massage, I'm just gonna be like, you know, visualizing what kind of future I want to create. So I will see when I get home. I need to dive into this. Like I'm so hungry. I can't, I literally can't handle it. Like I'm about to freak out. Do you ever just freak out because of like food in front of you? No? That is too good. Like, it's too good, man. Mmm. Mm-mm. We have Jameson in the back. It's thundering and lightning outside, so. He's a little nervous. So I'm so excited to share with you the haul. It's about like 1130 at night. So just so you know for context, okay? Now I spent around, I'm gonna round up and I spent $500 on back to school shopping, but I got so many good outfits. I got so much good stuff. Like I feel so excited and prepared for this new, this new school year. I got some really cute things. So without further ado, let's dive into it. My makeup's a little messed up because that massage was so good <laughs> in my hair and it was raining like crazy earlier today. All right, so first thing I got, I'm counting this as back to school because this was too beautiful to pass up. This beautiful sculpture, this is just insanely beautiful. Like insanely beautiful. Reminds me of the tree of life. This was only $20, very worth it. My husband loved it as well. I also got this crate. Um, this wicker crate to put my oracle cards in that you see back here. You'll probably see them right there too. I'm in my office right here. There's just so much oracle cards that need to be put somewhere. So this will be perfect for that. All right, now we're getting into the clothes. I think there's only one more non-clothes item. All right, Ozzy, you wanna see what's in it? You just excited? All right, first thing I got is, as you saw, on Wednesday, I went to Nordstrom Rack, and that was the first time I've ever been to Nordstrom Rack, and I honestly wasn't that impressed. 
It was nice, yes. I love their jewelry actually, but I wasn't super, super duper impressed with everything else. So the first thing I got were earrings. They're in another room. You'll see them in other videos. Um, if you watch my credit card video that I filmed today, you will see them. They're really beautiful. They're so sparkly and nice. Another piece of jewelry I got was this moon ring. If you can see it, it's beautiful. And it's a gold band with a really pretty um, blue-ish gray moon, crescent moon. So beautiful. I don't know what it is, but the moon has just got me lately, man. Okay, so first thing I got is this dress. This is what it looks like. It's in a beautiful olive green. And I got this from Nordstrom Rack. Now, some of them were on sale. Um, this one was actually on clearance for $19. So I got it in that green color. I got the same dress in this really pretty pink off sale. It was 27 off sale, so about $30 off sale like regular priced. This one was regular priced as well. I got it in orange and I got the same exact dress in black. Um, I think these are like perfect teaching dresses and they're a little snug. This is, this is a size large. Keep in mind, I'm 5'3", about 130 pounds. I'm just a little curvy, like I have a big butt. So I got a large so my butt wouldn't be so big in these dresses and I don't think they're huge or <laughs> I think it's flattering. Um, but they're really cute, like so simple just to throw on a dress to go to work. And I calculated it. So on Wednesdays, we're gonna be wearing spirit wear for our houses. And then on Fridays, we are going to be like wearing like the school t-shirt. So I only need three nice outfits a week. They definitely have that. Okay, you're being a little too loud with your Leash, we gotta take that off, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I got four of these dresses from Nordstrom Rack. They're very beautiful. So the other stuff I got from Nordstrom Rack, I got this candle because I was going to film um, my money date video and do my money date Friday before my friend came to visit from out of town, but I'm just gonna do it on Monday, on August 1st instead, but I got this candle. I don't have any candles. I love a good candle. It's an island orchid. Um, it like called to me for sure. So another thing I got at Nordstrom Rack were these pair of shoes. These were nice. $45 for these Steve Madden shoes. Um, I like them because they're flat and they're easy to slip on and they're rather comfortable. Um, it's like a really nice, perfect teacher shoe, in my opinion. My classroom's upstairs, so like, I don't know. I love being comfortable when I teach, and these shoes did it for me. So those are pretty nice. And then I also got these shoes from Nordstrom Rack as well. I don't know the brand. It's Dulce Vita. These were 40. They're so comfortable, though. They had these same exact shoes in um like a tan color but i decided to get these instead but these are so comfortable easy white shoe um very plain and flat perfect for teaching in my opinion and they were super comfortable now honestly if i love these a lot a lot i probably will go back for the tan ones um and maybe even I don't know, honestly, I'm having, the only thing I'm having question marks on if it was worth it for me to buy are these. Just because I love these so much and they were in tan, but they were slightly different color tan than these. Maybe it is a good one with this. Overthinking much, yeah, at 11.30 p.m. That haul was from Nordstrom Rack. So I got earrings, ring, all of that from Nordstrom Rack. This was from Marshalls, by the way. This wasn't from Nordstrom Rack, it was from Marshalls. And same with my wicker basket. Today I went to Marshalls and oh my effing gosh, sometimes Marshalls is on fire and this time I went, it was straight fire flames. Like, it was such good stuff that I found. It was amazing. I spent about the same amount at Marshalls as I did at Nordstrom Rack. So, first thing that caught my eye, was some jewelry. I like jewelry a lot. I love jewelry um, that has like crystal in it. So this jewelry set, it's in, it's two necklaces. I think it's a choker and a hangly, dangly um, pennant. But this is 
Hopefully you can see it to get up a little bit. Very beautiful crystal. Like this is a very beautiful crystal. I love the color of it and um, this moon. I don't know, the crescent moons, you guys. The crescent moons are just getting to me. So this crystal is a labor labor labradorite and it is to signify strength, intuition, and serendipity. I love serendipity so much. So had to get it, it's too beautiful. Okay, next thing is I got three pairs of shoes and OMG when I say I'm in love with these crystals or when I'm in love with these shoes, I'm in love with these shoes. The first pair I got were these. Oh, I'm telling you, my rule is like no matter what, I grab a good pair of shoes for Marshalls because when I see them once, I know I'm never gonna see them again. These shoes are just too cute. Something about this square toe or like this more um, angular toe just takes me over the top. Same with this strap, like it's too much, man. It is too much. Like I literally, do you ever just like sigh over how beautiful like a freaking shoe is? Oh, okay. No? I get the same way with furniture. Like I like really nice items. Like that's something I definitely put my money towards our nice items. These were only $30 for those shoes. So awesome. Next shoe I got, I could not effing read this. Now, am I necessarily gonna wear these for teaching? Maybe, maybe not. Dress up days, sure, like special occasions, absolutely, cause they're nice, but I can also wear them for like weddings and stuff. And I live in Vegas. Like I have learned that living in Vegas, it's always nice to have nice, shoes and clothes because you go out on the strip sometimes or go to comedy shows or stuff and you want to look nice at least i do are you kidding me <laughs> it's so beautiful again look at the toe it's so beautiful and they're so cute on and they're so comfortable to walk in it's that nice chunky heel like too freaking beautiful i was not just gonna get the one pair of black shoes it wasn't gonna happen it wasn't gonna happen so that was thirty dollars as well and then last but not least with the shoes i just you know they had some other ones it's a little different they had braided ones but i got this one it's more of a pinky nude it, it i just i can't and it has snake skin are you kidding me i can't i, I literally can't handle it more of that nice angular um shoe or heel or toe part, whatever. So it's too beautiful. Now they had a very similar style when it was, it was like a braid right here and a braid up here in black and this color. <sighs> so hard, it's so hard, but I think this is so beautiful. I really love like this. I don't know what it is. I just love them so much. Like they're so cute. It's the texture I think, I love the texture of them. So I got five pairs of shoes. And I needed some very badly, honestly. And those shoes, these ones, these were $30 as well. Cannot beat a pair of beautiful shoes for $30. You just can't. All right, next up, Marshalls. We're finishing off with Marshalls. So the next thing I got was this beautiful cardigan. Okay, I saw this, I said, yep. I have this also in black with um, white embroidery. It's beautiful, every time I wear it, I get a compliment on it. This is such a pretty blue, like so beautiful. This was only $20. I love a good shawl, if that's what this is called. I love them so much because you could just wear a simple shirt or a tank top with a nice pair of jeans and cute shoes and that's like the most easiest teacher outfit in the world. Next thing I got, this is just too much, man. Like. Too much beautiful shirt it's um like a sweater material i love the zhuzh on the armpit area <laughs> i'm such i'm so great at describing huh i don't know what the names are of like the parts of the clothes but this was only 17 dollars. love the color love the zhuzh like this is a great shirt very nice quality as well i do not buy clothes that wrinkle I refuse, I don't do it. If it's a certain material, I do not buy them. Um, if I can't easily take care of it, I do not buy it. Just FYI. Okay, I also got these pants, this nice pair of dress pants. Um, easy, they're Michael Kors, they're $30. Very easy, 
easy, easy to wear um, professional pant, black, stretchy, super nice. Like I'm so grateful to have found that. My dog is like all mad so I'm not giving him attention. So this next one I saw and I was like, <laughs> well obviously all of them I was like, Ur! because I do not buy clothes unless I'm like, Ur! <laughs> so this is a super cute black long sleeve shirt. I like the collar on it. I like that it has um, a nice neckline. It is a leotard. And if you've never had leotards, I love them so much. I love them because you clip them on the bottom and yeah, it's kind of annoying to pee and stuff, but they look so nice with a nice pair of jeans or whatever pants you wear. It looks so nice and clean tucked in with a cute belt and nice shoes. Like it's just so nice. Like I love this shirt, love this shirt. And my favorite color to wear is black. <laughs> and last but not least, my dog sitting on top of it. This is not something I'll be wearing to teach in, but this is just too cute. I saw this and I said, oh my, like, it's so cute. Uh, by the way, this last shirt was 25. I love this shirt so much. This is beautiful. I saw this and I said, I don't care what the price is. I like Marshalls because usually things aren't super a lot. I mean, it's retail 100, but I got it for 25. So cute. Look at the texture in the, um, look at this. My dog. <laughs> look at the texture of this. It's so thick, so nice. Like this is an adorable shirt. It's so cute. I might try it on real quick, actually. I'm gonna try it on. This is the cutest shirt. <laughs> I like plain clothes for the most part. Like I love plain pattern and it's, this is black and like, look at the back of it. No bra needed. It's just so perfect and cute. I think this is a size small. It's absolutely perfect. So nice. Oh, I love this shirt. I think this might be my favorite thing I got maybe. I don't know. I got everything I got I love. So that was my haul and my little spending tips. And remember like we all have money stories and we have to make the conscious choice to change our money stories. Um, our money stories have, you know, been created when we were kids and what we see on media and the news and everything. So you have the power to change your money story. Um, that's what I did. And I have a great relationship with money now. Um, you should never feel fearful around money or like jealous or like any of those emotions you should never feel. And if you do message me, hit me up, let's work one-on-one, -on -one. let's get you through it because you're not supposed to live like that. That is not an abundant lifestyle. You are supposed to live in your full potential. You're supposed to experience abundance 24 seven. Like that's what you're supposed to experience. So if you're not, hit me up, let's fix it. Um, but thank you so much for joining me on today's video. Be sure to subscribe and if you're looking for any other wealth building tips or tricks or investing hacks, whatever, be sure to check out my other videos on the playlist. Now cheers. <sighs> cheers. I was very thirsty and I'm very tired and I have to wake up very early tomorrow morning because I'm meeting with my grade level team start school in over a week, a little bit, a week and a half. Thank you so much for watching. Catch ya in the next video. Peace.